So, Chair, what's the feeling like in the dressing room after that one? Ah, look, we're, we're a bit disappointed. Um, you know, we talked all week about uh, going out there and expressing ourselves and really taking it to Wales. Um, and we've done that for large periods of the game. I think for us, we're very much in control of the first half, especially. Um, and then just a few moments didn't didn't quite go to plan. Um, I think for for us, giving away a penalty is, is, is one thing. Conceding three or four on the bounce is, is unacceptable. Um, and then in our international rugby, it's going to cost you. Uh, and it's done that to us twice. Even with the red card, did you still feel you had the chances to win that match? Oh, 100%. I think going at the last kind of 25 minutes after uh, Wales had just scored, we challenged each other to, um, you know, the character within the squad that we knew fine well we could come back and, and bounce back from it. Um, and we did. You know, we, we played right to the very, very end and on another day we, we win that game. The... Sort of try that wasn't. Um, it was given as an obstruction. Did it, did it feel like a bit of a turning point? Obviously, at that point, then Wales go up and they they get a try, and it's a kind of a you know a fourteen point swing almost. Yeah, it's a massive part of the game. That I think for us, we were very close to to scoring seven points there. Um, unfortunately, we've ended up conceding. So I look at it's little things that are costing us. Um, but the the pleasing thing is and. We know exactly where we're going wrong. Um, there's been times in the past that we've made mistakes and uh, we keep making these mistakes, whereas now I believe that's a that's a kind of one-off in our, in our ill discipline. We'll be much better prepared for the France game um, in terms of our discipline. Uh, and we'll get excited for that challenge. And just your views on the red card itself. There's been a bit of debate. What, what do you guys feel that, that you know, like letter of the law and all that, 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 that it was fair? Oh, look, we... It's pointless me sitting here and, and, and expressing my views on it. I, it's, nothing's going to change now, is it? It's, it's a red card and that's what's happened. Uh, it's pointless going on and on about it. Yeah, um, I'm just wondering about your, your feelings about your game management. Um, at 17 8, there was um, the possibility of um, kicking, for, kicking for goal. Um, do you think that was a mistake? And um, near the end, uh, Ali Price no kicked when um, though you maybe had a chance to to maybe win a penalty. Um, do you think that's something you need to improve on? Look, I think uh, <laughs> it's easy always to look at the negatives that have happened in the game, and that's two little occasions that have um, that you're looking at there. I think for large periods of the game, we were very much in control. Our game management was outstanding. We were playing in the right areas. We were causing Wales problems, um, uh, and no doubt we're, we're looking at the negatives again. Yeah, and I mean, do you feel that um, the red card was the obviously the turning point? That um, if it hadn't been for that, you would have gone on and won the game. Well, I think for us, it'll be it'll be wrong of me to comment on the red card. You know, I've been there myself. It's you know, it's, it's dark times. But um, look, I, I still believe we could win the game, and so did the rest of the boys involved in the game and. You know, everybody to a man were, were outstanding. We, we we stuck at it, we played right until the very last second. Um, and as I said, uh, as I said earlier, on another day, we we'll probably win that game. Yeah, you, you you certainly put them under pressure, even though you were a man down. Yeah, it's that just shows the character within the squad and ability that that we've got. Um, we, we challenge ourselves on a daily basis to get the best out of each other, and you can see how much we're enjoying it being out in the field. Yes, it didn't quite go to plan at times, but. That's something we can learn and improve on. Um, and, and we'll get excited about the, the next challenge in a couple of weeks against France. Yeah, and obviously with France coming up, do you, do you still feel there's a chance of um, winning the, the Six Nations title? Yeah, we, we're very much focused on on playing against France in a couple of weeks. I think if we get too far ahead of ourselves, as I said last week, uh, we're, we're going to slip up. So we, we've got two weeks now to, to make sure we're um, mentally and physically prepared. We're in the best place possible. Um, and I fully believe we can go across to France and win. Great, thanks very much. You know, given given how good you were in the first half, and obviously the first ten minutes of the second half as well, you were you were really knocking on the door. It felt like it was only a matter of time before the next try came. Does it feel as though in the end that's a game that you th you've thrown away? I wouldn't say thrown away. Um, I think that we just lacked uh, at times a clinical edge. I think on another day, um, you know, Gary Graham probably goes across for that try, and you know the the game's probably put to bed at then. If it, if we're being honest. Um, but look, we can sit here and pick out all the negatives all we want. You know, I back my bo uh, the boys to, to go out there and perform. We've done that for large periods. 
Um, and I'm proud of the effort. You know, you can't fault anybody's effort. Uh, there's a huge amount of character within this squad. Yes, it hurts, uh, and rightly so. Um, but we can't dwell on it too much. We'll, we'll learn from it. We'll move on, and we'll make sure we're in uh, the best place possible. Well, discipline would be the number one. Uh, when you go to 14 men for 25, 30 minutes, it's, it's going to be more difficult. When you give away penalties that lead to to points, then obviously that's not helping your chances of winning. Um, so those two things we, we did during the game. We had a lot of opportunities. Some of them we took, some of them led to penalties. Some of them we felt could have led to more penalties, the pressure we had Wales under, especially the, the beginning of the second half. Um, and then there were just obviously a couple of um, Finishing issues, uh, obviously guy, Scott Cummins, Gary Graham just getting, running the same line. That should have been a try with the pressure we had on them um, and that would have taken us well ahead, but it didn't. Um, and credit the Wales when they had their chances, especially through their the line-up mall, they, um, they scored points. Um, but I, I really believe that we'd, we could still win because the effort and the skill that the players showed in that last 10 minutes was outstanding to create opportunities and create a, a really good opportunity with Duan van der Merber and then which looked at a certain penalty for us at the breakdown um, after Wales recovered the ball but in the end it wasn't enough. And your thoughts on the red it's generated a lot of debate even the, the ref and the TMO seem to have a fairly lengthy discussion about it themselves. Yeah, I didn't think they had much of a discussion. Um, I didn't think they showed enough of the angles. I think they showed one slow motion angle to begin with and then it took ages to find another one. Uh, the TMO did say, yeah, are you sure? Because of the player's late movement, there's no mitigation there. But I thought the whole process could have been much better. Like we, it's obviously very serious when someone gets a red card and and just felt that we didn't show the, the angles right and have the proper discussion. There was a, a discussion between the the um, team of three when they're waiting for angles and they seem to have made their mind up then but we we accept that uh, well we get on with what, whatever decision the referees made and there's nothing we can do about it now it felt as though the tmo was making it clear to the referee that he felt as though there was sufficient mitigation for it only to be yellow but from the conversation that they had the referee has then gone against that from what it seemed could you understand why he chose to do that well, it looked like he discussed that with um, his assistant referees when they were waiting for more angles. Uh, so that, that was a disappointing thing. That Did we see it live? It looked like it was played in slow motion on one angle rather than actually going, right, this was a process. Was it late movement? Um, was it a clear strike of the head as well? I think um, on the one of the angles I saw, I don't know if there was. Um, but uh, you, it's part of the game, the red cards, and you have to deal with them. There's one last week. And apart from the moment straight after the red card, um, I thought I thought our players did did very well during that period and got back ahead on the scoreboard. Gregor, um, obviously the discipline last week at Twickenham was was so good. Um, was that a frustration for you today, just seeing that sort of see the things sort of creep back up the ways? Yes, um, because I felt we were in control defensively. I think there was a, I don't know, a dozen phases in the first half that Wales weren't going forward. And we got we got caught for offside, and it was only three points. I think it was only three points to scored for thirty minutes, but um, that that was disappointing. And uh, I think three penalties in a row from line at mall uh, to another line at mall that ended up with a with a try or, a, or three points. At the, sorry, I tried at the end of the first half. Yeah, we we've got to be better there. I think the the loss of Blade Thompson so early in the game certainly affected our line out. Uh, Blade was was. Playing really well, carried strongly, and as unfortunately just got caught with a stray um, knee of, of one of our own players as he was he was carrying ball. But uh, Wales Wales did well in the line out from there. Um, we we showed things up when Richie Gray came on and put them under a lot of pressure. But yeah, we could have done better um, in terms of our discipline in that first half. Okay, thank you. We'll now move on to Daddy, the 10 p.m. section. 10 p.m. Sunday from now, please. Gregor, was Gary Graham injured when he came off? No. Oh. Oh, that's cool. 
Gregor, what's the atmosphere like in the dressing room? Because it, it certainly feels like it was a massive missed opportunity, given how good you were in the first half and at the start of the second, you were you were well in control of the match. Yeah, the the, the players are, are hugely disappointed um, because we, we felt we did have that game under control. And also the effort they put in, like they're, they're exhausted. Like a lot of players played 80 minutes there and had to... minutes there and had to... And do all they can and to break do down. All they can to break down. Can you make sure you're mute, please? If you're, you're mute, please. If you're listening in. And Greg, with two weeks to prepare for the front. Sorry, go on. So I was just hearing myself back. So I was. That's why I was pausing. Yeah. So the uh, the disappointment with the exhaustion. Um, uh, that's that's the the general feeling amongst the players. With two weeks to go before the France game. You might want to talk about discipline, but discipline is not the sort of thing you can practice on the training pitch, is it? How do you, how do you account for the change between the two games so far? Yeah, it's certainly something we can practice. Um, we we practice and talked a lot about it after the Ireland game, and discipline is not just one thing. The easy one to fix is, is staying on site. Other ones are decision making around um, what you do around the mall defence. We give a couple of penalties there from poor decisions. Which uh, which puts us under pressure to decision making around the tackle area. I don't think there was any penalties from that today, but obviously the, the rap clear from Xander um, led to a red card. So yeah, there are certainly things we we can talk and practice. Um, the opposition put you under pressure to to force penalties like we did against uh, England last week, and we we did at times today against Wales. Um, so you got to factor that in, but it's certainly something we we can work on and improve. Like like we've We've shown between the Ireland and England games. Do you think this result, this result, can't have two big performances back to back? Was was winning here just too much for the, the squad after Twickenham? No. You were never, you were never in doubt that the their mentality was spot on for this contest. No, and I would hope in your earlier comments you would have seen that too. By the way, the players played but to build up such a big lead and play with that. That energy, that accuracy, um, we had Wales under a lot of pressure and obviously built built a lead and had a try it ruled out that maybe could have gone, I don't know, 24-10 up or 24-8 up um, early in the game. We, we, we really felt this would be an 80-minute contest, but we'd, we were well ahead in the scoreboard. Other things happened in the game that put us under pressure. Um, obviously, red card being won, uh, us just slipping for... Five minutes concentration and, and Wales taking their chances, but no, the, the players backed up their performance today. I thought the performance was outstanding and at times and even better in some aspects than last week. Gregor, do you want the guys, Gregor, to, want the guys to hang to... on, hang on to the hurt from this, or do you want them to forget about it and move on? Move on. Like we've we've got to take what um what will make us a a real threat and challenge for France and how we played and how we defended. And obviously we've got to fix the, the areas that make it easier for teams to get into games. But uh, that'll be the process, whether we'd won or lost um, today. Thanks very much, everyone. Gregor, is, am I right in saying the discipline issue that you had today was you tended to give up penalties in batches, like three in a row, very quickly in a row, which gave Wales territory and uh, the chance to score points like they did in the first half? Yeah, obviously the one. Um, yeah, obviously the one um, was uh, largely due to that a penalty that ends up being a line out penalty, another line out penalty. So you're good. You're going to give away penalties in a game, but you've got to make sure that you don't give them back to back and give easy ter ter territorial gains to the opposition. Because once you're in your your 22 or 10 meters from your your line, then you're you're going to be under more pressure.